What happens when you get color matched? That is a fabulous question. I send you a face map that looks something like this, and it's color coded to show you exactly where to apply your 3D foundation to get amazing dimension that looks natural. You start with the color that I recommend first, which is always green, usually. <laughs> um, green means color corrector. And I'm going in with my darkest shade to correct any areas of redness. Now this is going to help neutralize so that my foundation lasts all day long. If I put too light of a color, it would start looking really chalky, it would break up, or it would just kind of look like it's wearing off by the end of the day. By putting the colors in specific areas, matching your specific skin tone, it's gonna help your makeup last a really long time, which is just amazing. So the next one is the where I marked in brown is contour, and that's where you're gonna be adding the shadows to create that dimension. So we go right under the cheekbones, down the sides of your nose, and then I go across the forehead around the hairline as well. I like to swipe it under my jawline just to help sculpt that, but that is up to you. It's personal preference there. Just make sure you blend it in with your neck. And then next is the marked in yellow, and this is a brightener. So this is going to add that, it's that lightest tone that you're matched to, and it's just going to add that light from within, and it helps everything look way more natural and also helps enhance those shadows to create the dimension. And then it's the orange color, which is kind of filling in the gaps, and this is technically your main shade, but that's it. And then you just stipple and blend it in. The key here is to not over blend because it is so easy to blend that it's easy to over blend. So just be careful on that. You can start with the lightest, do all the lightest first, and then move to the darkest, or you can go do the darkest first. Everything is personal preference. This is just a guideline. I would suggest following my recommendations in the email first, and then start kind of testing things out and seeing what you prefer to do. You have so many options, just have fun with it. One of the things I love about this makeup is that as you keep practicing, you will find that you learn so much about your skin and start to understand why one color all over just doesn't work that well. A little lip and cheek on the high tops of your cheekbones and on your lips, and then that creates your 3D foundation. Add a little eye color mascara, you're good. Just send me a message if you have any questions at all, I can help, and then just have fun with it.